If you're on the lookout for products and ideas to make your cabinets more efficient, or you simply want them to look great, well, look no more. Allow me to present 12 cabinet makeover ideas brought to you by SimpHome.com, ranging from nifty organizing solutions, handy products, to simple DIY tasks. Number 12. DIY Stylish Kitchen Cabinet Idea you can achieve this same classy look for under $200 with DIY shaker style cabinets. Factor in the thickness of your countertop to the height. Using 2x3s built to rectangular frames for the base and top of the framework. You install them to the walls and floors by driving 3.5 inch screws into them. Add the three vertical columns on the inside corners and middle. Also add three horizontal and perpendicular bracing on both the top and base frames. Install the 1-inch plywood floor and finish the face with 1x4 boards. For the four doors, cut 8 1x2s to the height, subtract 4 inches from the width, and cut 8 1x2s. With a table saw, make a quarter inch wide groove on the inner sides. Remember to cut the grooves only to the length of the plywood inserts on the longer pieces. You assemble the four doors with pocket screws and glue. 11. DIY Kitchen Hood with an old vent hood fan, you can build a range hood. All the frame parts are 1x2 boards. Attach three sides of a frame and set it above your fan, closely following its dimensions. Drive screws into the vertical pieces reaching the ceiling. Build the smaller top frame, but in the same width as the bottom one. Add the two sloping frame pieces. Put horizontal bracing at the sides in front and begin filling it with vertical slats. Be sure the side slats reach the fan bottom. Put a 1x2 belt around the hood at the same level as the first frame. Then fashion smaller 1x2 rectangular frames for the skirt for all three sides under this belt. Fill in the remaining slats needed. Finish it with black paint. 10. Make it white. It's a beautiful remodeling of a kitchen that had natural wood cabinetry and grayish countertops to one that has a well-executed, predominantly white theme. You can paint all the cabinets white, shaker-style cabinet doors with a little more detail on the inner part of the frame replace the old ones. Attractive black handles will serve as stylish accents. The countertops are also white, and so is the new rectangular subway tiles backsplash, which nicely complements the new look. 9. Simple DIY Cabinet Makeover This makeover is pretty simple, but well worth the effort. It consists of converting the doors into shaker-style ones and applying fresh paint. First, remove the doors. Clean and give everything a thorough sanding. For the two doors, cut four vertical pieces from two-inch slats and four shorter horizontal pieces to be sandwiched between the vertical ones. Glue them to the front. Patch all the nicks and screw holes. Apply two coats of paint to the cabinet and doors, waiting for them to dry completely between coats. Do the same with two coats of sealer, but with a sponge brush. Put the doors back in place and add new handles. 8. DIY Base Cabinet Regardless of style, all the cabinetry under the countertops is considered base cabinets. You can build them European style, which is frameless, or have a face frame, which is common in the U.S. The height and depth of the base frame can vary. However, you must always factor in the thickness of the countertops into the height. These lower cabinets can have doors with shelves inside, or you can install drawers. There's usually a toe kick, which is a recessed space underneath the doors and lowest drawers. It's for the benefit of people when they're leaning forward on the cabinets. 7. Change the RV faucet When changing a faucet, make sure you have adequate lighting. Two adjustable wrenches are vital for the job. You'll also need a pipe wrench, screwdriver, Teflon tape, bucket, rags, and two adapters for the RV water pipes. Begin by turning off the water supply. Place a pan inside the cabinet right under the drain. If your faucet has a sprayer, use a screwdriver to remove the weight under the sink and remove the hose. Remove all the things for cold and hot water by first removing the pins. With the new faucet, slip the knot on the hose and screw it in and insert all of the fittings into the sink's faucet hole. Apply enough Teflon on the adapters then connect the hot water pipe to the red hose and the cold to the blue one. Tighten the big nut underneath to fix the faucet in place. 6. Change the kitchen sink As long as your sink has a standard size, you can replace it without modifying your current countertop. Turn off the water supply and place buckets directly under the faucets. 
Proceed to detach the old fittings, including the faucet, drain pipe, and garbage disposal. Remove any clips under the counter. Slide a putty knife under and around the lip to gradually pry the sink loose from the countertop so you can pull it out. Scrape off the old sealant on the top edges of the hole, then put plumber's putty around the hole. Slide your new sink into it and replace the fittings. 5. Unique Faucet for a Modern Farmhouse Kitchen Style When you enter a kitchen, one of the first things that usually catches your eye is the faucet. Not only can they visually enhance your sink, but they can also make or break your sink cabinets look. That's why it's critical to choose stylish faucet fittings. But why not take it a step further? You can choose a unique faucet that you don't always see in modern kitchens. For instance, the Waterstone Wheel Pull-Down Faucet has an elegant and timeless appeal. It's very functional and at the same time can be a beautiful focal point in the space. 4. IKEA Kitchen Cabinet Installation Tips Here are some tips to make it easier to install IKEA kitchen cabinets. If space is a little cramped, assemble the pieces somewhere roomier. It is a terrific idea to have all the tools you need from the get-go. Most assembly jobs require screws, so keep a drill and screwdriver bit set handy. A great tip is to use countersink bits to give the piece a more polished look. When you need to drive screws into your wall, be sure to hit the studs. Always bring out your small and medium levels to avoid crooked installs. I recommend IKEA's unique toe kick system that doesn't require bulky lumber to mount your base cabinets. 3. Add glass to the cabinet Glass door cabinets bring life to what would otherwise be a monotonous cupboard. You can display your favorite items and they won't collect dust, unlike in an open shelf. To convert your door, drill a pilot hole on the plywood insert, use a jigsaw and carefully cut away the insert along a line one quarter inch away from the frame. Sand that new plywood edge straight and apply clear silicone around the inner side. Cut plexiglass to the right size, place it on the frame and press down on the silicone. After letting it set, frame the plexiglass with a narrow trim. 2. Spice Drawer Project Idea Having a dedicated spice drawer in your kitchen counter is an effective way to store many little spice bottles. It's better than letting them sit randomly on the countertop or inside a cupboard. The bottles are laid down neatly in rows or inclined racks. Ideally, the drawer would be near your stove or oven for quick access. It's handy when picking the bottle you need and quickly pushing the drawer shut. You can also place the taller containers sideways so they'll fit. Lastly, number one, add more organizer items. Consider installing wall organizers to free up more storage space in your cabinets. There's a complete line you can get from Miggin that can hold all sorts of items. These wall organizers come in a wide array of shapes and sizes to organize your knives, other kitchen utensils, chopping boards, dishes, spices, you name it. They're colored black, are well designed, and a breeze to install. Conclusion Cabinets take up the most kitchen space. They're arguably the most crucial consideration in a kitchen's design and layout. That's why a simple cabinet makeover can go a long way in enhancing the overall look and function of your kitchen. It's doubly important that you give them the care and attention they deserve. You don't always have to gut your kitchen. A slight modification of the cabinet doors, for example, can add a touch of elegance to the room. However, in some instances, you may want more significant alterations. If you have the DIY skills, then why not go for it and save yourself a ton of money? To read the full article and find even more fantastic makeover tips, head over to SimpHome.com. That's it for now. Before you leave, support this channel by pressing subscribe button under this video. Like it, comment it on it, or share it with anyone inside your social media circle. Keep us in your subscription tab to find other clever ideas on how to revamp your home and garden. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.